Okay, welcome back. It's another edition of our prize picks, best bets, best plays, best squares, whatever you want to call them. We got them. And you know what? Last week, I did have them. Oh, you did? What do you mean, oh? Oh, shit. My mic was off. We're good now. Yeah, uh, Now we're chilling. Yeah, we're Try good. to silence me. It ain't happening. This was one? Yeah, okay, we good. Yes, I did, actually. I hit both of mine. I had a huge week. I hit both my two squares. Really? Yeah, Derek Henry, Najee Harris, and the Keenan Allen, Justin Jefferson one. Nice. Bang. I'm proud of you. And if you guys were smart enough to take my two two squares and make a four square, then you really hit. I don't yeah. know if anyone did that, though. Nah, I mean, uh, I had a four square, but it didn't come through because Amon Ross St. Brown decided to have a bad game. Never had one this season until I bet on him. It's funny how that works. Ain't it? Yeah, that's, that's the game that we play, but... We have a short memory. We forget about it. We move on and we go to this week. And here we are. Two square. I'm going to start us off because I'm hot. First time I got a win. I got to, you know, I got to run with it. Speaking of running, we got two running backs. Two squares, two running backs. One of them, Kareem Hunt, less than 24 and a half rushing yards, playing the Baltimore Ravens, who is a team that is excellent at stopping the run. And this is the guy that is the backup running back. So he's already not getting a lot of work. Deshaun Watson, I think they're trying to get him to throw the ball more, just feel more comfortable. So the fact that Nick Chubb's getting less carries, Cream Hunt's going to get less carries. Cream Hunt also has just been very, very bad. He's basically not even a usable football player. So I love this less than. And then uh, we're going to move over to Austin Eckler, more than 41 and a half receiving yards versus Tennessee. Tennessee is one of the worst teams against the pass. And I know when you you look at that stat, it says wide receivers. Well, Austin Eckler is basically a wide receiver at this point. And Tennessee, very good against the run. They're very good at stopping the run. So Austin Eckler, probably not going to be getting a lot of carries, more receptions. That's why I love the, the more than on the 41 and a half here. Nice. I like that. I could see uh, Eckler having a big game through the air. Yeah, he always does. You know who else is going to have a big game in that game? Derrick Henry. I'm taking him to have more than 97 and a half rushing yards. I'm taking a play out of your playbook here. I was going to say, this is me. (laughs) Just go with Derrick Henry. The Chargers, their bottom three in almost every defensive metric when it comes to stopping the run. Derrick Henry was also dealing with a little bit of a foot injury earlier in the season. He seems to be healthy now. Burks, he probably won't play with a concussion. So this is going to be all Henry with the Titans offense. They're getting some O-linemen healthy. I love Derrick Henry to have an absolute monster day we're gonna see vintage derrick henry I love the big d yes triple yardage on the ground for <laughs> derrick henry i'm gonna pair that with another running back miles sanders to have more than 68 and a half rushing yards look the bears offense is terrible they can't stop anyone yeah. eagles are probably gonna score a lot of points get up early just want miles sanders to kill the clock keep the game safe he absolutely demolished this total last week against the Giants, so I see no reason why he can't tear up the Bears' sorry-ass defense. And I got a third one to go with this. Is it a three-square? Yes, another running back with the same line of 68 and a half rushing yards. That's Donta Foreman, running back for the Carolina Panthers, playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Carolina has been establishing the run these last couple weeks. That's what they want to do. Sam Darnold keeps the ball safe. They keep the ball on the ground. The Panthers, they're fighting for their coach, Steve Wilkes. Huge Steve Wilkes brand here now. We love Steve Wilkes up in here. We might as well be hired by Steve Wilkes Can I tell you to be hype men for him. I almost put Chuba Hubbard on one of my squares. Did you now? I almost did. That would be too much Panther action, honestly. It, you know what? It was getting it was getting a little too too much for me. So it's I getting a little away. too hot and heavy yeah. with the Panthers up in here. But yeah, Panthers play a lot of sets with two and three tight ends. Steelers, they're going to get out physical. They're going to get bullied. Steel curtain, it's a fraud. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, their run defense is not good. No, it's not. It's not what it used to be. No. This, this ain't your grandfather Steelers. No, sir. All right. That's a nice little sque- uh, three square you got there. I'm going to keep us going. My last, my final, my two square, because you know me, I go two and two. Gabe Davis, more than 35 and a half receiving yards versus the Miami Dolphins. One of the worst teams against the pass. One of the worst teams against uh, opposing wide receivers. We just saw Brock Purdy and the uh, 49ers carve him up. So I'm sure Josh Allen and uh, Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs should not have a problem. 35 and a half yards is just such a low number. Yeah, Gabe Davis is very hit or miss, boom or bust, but this is the boom week. Uh, and especially the big division game, important game. It's going to happen. Love that line. I love it. I love that square. Only thing, you worried about weather? No. Not at all? 35 and a half yards. That's nothing. It's so low for Gabe That's Davis. nothing. Yeah. Um, all right. And then this one's a little tricky here, but we're going to go with Kirk Cousins. Less than 259 and a half passing yards. Look, the Colts are quietly one of the best teams against the pass, against, uh, you know, quarterbacks and wide receivers. They do, they don't shut them down, but they're they're in the top 10. They're up there. I mean, they, 
it, it doesn't seem like it, but it is that case because their run defense is so terrible. Everyone can run all over them. No need to really throw the ball. So I think it's going to be a Dalvin Cook game. We just saw Kirk Cousins explode for 400 yards last week with the, you know, the huge Justin Jefferson game. Come back down to earth a little bit here. 259 and a half. We're going to take the less. Look for Dalvin Cook to be running all over the place. I almost took a Dalvin Cook square, but he's too, he's too slow. He's too slow. He's too slow. We've been saying Dalvin Cook's slow since the beginning of the year. It's like week one. Yeah. <laughs> we may not uh, totally believe it, but sometimes he looks slow. All right, I got another three square to cap this off. This is the Saturday special. First week in the NFL season that we have three Saturday games. So I'm going to give you one per game. Starting off with Michael Pittman to have more than five and a half reception. Dude is averaging nine targets a game. He's hit six catches in his last seven. He plays, he runs a lot of routes a lot around the line of scrimmage. So these are easy targets that he's getting, easy yeah. catches. Noodle arm Matt Ryan. Needs Noodle those. arm Matt Ryan can't throw the ball downfield, yeah. so he's keeping Michael Pittman around the line of scrimmage. That's what we love to see. No more than five yards, man. <laughs> get back here. Come back. Most quarterbacks point like that to the receivers. Matt Ryan's like, get back here. All right, second square. J.K. Dobbins to have more than 49 and a half rushing yards. He made his comeback game into the NFL last week against the Steelers where he demolished him for 120 yards. He, he broke looked this good. on one play. Exactly. He looks good. He looks healthy. The, St- the Ravens did him right by keeping him out for an extended period of time to make sure that he came back. And all like we know the Browns suck at defending the run. Yeah, no, I almost took this one too. They're like 26th in yards allowed. They're, they're just bad. They cannot defend the run for shit. And uh, without Lamar Jackson, like Ravens probably going to try to run the ball a lot with him and Huntley. Yeah, Gus Gus Edwards. I love Gus Edwards this week too. I do too. I actually was really considering it's, him it's because like his line, lower, right? right, his line is lower. But I just think uh, you know another week of J.K. Dobbins being healthy, maybe they increase his workload a little bit. And also, he's the explosive one. Yeah, he's the one that's going to break off a fifty yard run. So J.K. Dobbins more than forty nine and a half rush yards. Love that. Lastly, the night game. Josh Allen, I'm going with more than 47 and a half rushing yards. He's dealing with a little bit of an elbow injury. And I, you know, the, despite what you think, I think the weather is going to be a little nasty. So I think the Bills keep the ball on the ground. And Miami has a pretty good run defense. But surprisingly, they've also let up the second most rushing yards to the quarterback position. Devin Singletary, fade him. Josh Allen on the ground, ride with him. Kind of like the James Cook line this week, too. I love James Cook's line it's, every fucking it's week. Tough and to it, it, not he, like. Yeah, but he just like finds ways to not hit it. Yeah, it was like ten and a half receiving yards. Seemed juicy. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably have that by game same, time. But I'm I'm there. just not gonna I'm not gonna tie my name to it. I'm gonna take it undercover and and just cry about it on the inside to myself when it doesn't hit. Respect. Yeah. So that's all I got. All right, that's lovely. Hey, look, that's a nice two square, three square from you. We got two two squares from me. You know the deal. You get over to Prize Picks. You use promo code BDGE. You're gonna get 100 percent deposit match up to 100 dollars if you're a first time user. And look, if you got a little faith in us now, could use a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. A little thumbs up, a little follow, you know, subscribe if you're new. Um, Your voice just might be hot. But yeah, this could be, look, you know, everyone's got to turn it around sometime. We took, you know, 14 weeks, but it's time. We're here. We're due. We're here, baby. We're cashing in. We're banging. Why are you telling uh, that, 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 that didn't work. All right. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Stop after the, the first two okay. buttons. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you next week. Yeah.